Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If this happens to be your first time here, first off, my name's Dave. And on this channel, I like to share my passion for Lego investing, my BrickLink store, and some other general stuff in my life. Today, we are going to be going on a little bit of a magical ride. I'm going to be sharing with you a really cool Lego haul that I finally got in the mail. I was even a little bit nervous that I may not be able to get my hands on these things. Luckily, it ended up coming through, not on a site that you may even think of to shop at. Let's go ahead and get right into this Lego haul. Just received in my order from shopdisney.com. Many of you probably already know what it is that we're gonna be opening up. We're gonna do a little bit of a haul right now where uh, just opening these boxes, checking for damage. I don't know uh, that I've ever ordered anything specifically from Shop Disney before. We ended up finding some Disney castles. This is set number 40478. 50th anniversary, I believe. And so the big key here is that uh, I'm assuming that these boxes are only going to be available for this year, maybe even just past 2021. Uh, it is speculation on my part. However, these things were so hot, so exclusive, they sold out in the first 20 minutes online. I was able to get two of them on October 1st, which is the day it released, by going to the Disney store, or I'm sorry, by going to the Lego store while I was at Philly Brickfest 2021. And that was it. I tried to order them online during that night, and I thought I checked out with them, but apparently I didn't. All I ended up getting was the Santa's Workshop. So unfortunately, all I ended up getting was two of these from the Lego store. However, later, Shop Disney ended up having them on their website. Now, now they were slightly more expensive. So MSRP on this is $34.99. And when you got them from Shop Disney, they ended up being $39.99, which is a $5 premium. It's about a 15% markup, which does start to eat into the profits a little bit. However, my theory is that this set is going to end up being around $100 or more, which even paying $40 for these things means that $100 gives me a 250% return on that investment. We do have one here with a creased box. Let's see if I can get that in there. So one damage box out of one, two, three, four, five so far. The two that I got from the store are in phenomenal condition. Everything looks good there. Just a couple more boxes here to go through. We've got, this one has a little bit of rippling in here. There you, go. you can see it just barely, but I think that's totally fine. Uh, this one does have a crease through the back. I mean, it's bound to happen, especially when you get them in these kind of quantities. The first six that I opened had almost no issue outside of that tiny little bit of damage on the one. This one looks good. And this one just has the small little seam going across the top. Not too bad. So this gives me a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I have two more that are still technically not here yet for a total of 14 mini Disney castles. Super excited about this. At 14, I think that puts my total cost at around 560. And if all 14 of these end up selling for $100 a piece, that'll be $1,400 of income. And I believe that that gives me a 250% return on investment. Let me know in the comment section below if you were able to get your hands on any of the Disney mini castles. And if it's something that you've made any kind of an investment in, let me know what you think this particular set might do, as well as when you think it may retire. I have two Lego Shop at Home orders that I wanted to share with all of you today. I'm going to go ahead and open these packages. I have not peeked inside, although I did see the shipping charge for these, and so I actually know what these are. The first of which is another one of the oops, Christmas ornaments. 
This one is the Santa with Christmas trees, set number, it's either 854037 or 6309214. I didn't think I was going to get this. It was on back order since last year, I believe. But it finally came in the mail, so I get to add this to my collection with the reindeer one, I think is the last one that I pulled. So we did end up getting that in. It's actually a good time of the year for it because, in all fairness, if I wanted to flip that, considering that they have not been in stock, I may actually be able to do that right now. Moving on to the box number two, though. This one I'm very excited about, but I ended up getting another two of the Reindeer Battle Packs. It's what everyone knows these things for. It is set number 40499. I think this takes me up to a total of seven of these. Again, these things are going to be hot. I think that they're not going to continue them into next year, however. So if you're looking for these, I would keep a very close eye on your Lego shop at home, as well as your Lego in-store options. Possibly even the Discovery Center. Sometimes they can carry stuff that the standard Lego store does not. So keep a close eye there. These things are amazing. $34.99 a piece, I believe. Got two of those. One more order that's already been packed up again. I keep uh, failing to record the pulling of these things, but it was the Lego Super Mario figure only from the starter set. Uh, $42.99 plus shipping tax, all the good stuff. This order went to Andy in Florida. And fun fact about these particular orders is that I don't keep them built. And so what I had to do was actually go and pull one of my extra sets off the shelf, rip it open, and now I have some bags of parts that will end up going into the store. So I uh, ended up recouping most of the cost for my set. Now I just got to get the remaining parts in the store. That is how I do the figures. These Mario figures, again, when they sell for around $42.99, it justifies me tearing the rest of them open, especially if I can manage to sell the Bowser Jr. and Goomba figures in them. So, uh, new parts coming to the store. Thank you very much to Andy in Florida for your order. I appreciate it. We have another eBay order. This order is from Nicole in Louisiana. We sold the LEGO City 4204, the mine. One of the sets I've got multiple copies of. I think this is the only one that I have in box. It's not sealed, but it is in box. Sold this for $129.99, plus shipping and everything. And the shipping expenses on this are pretty large. I'm in the process of getting it packed. Just wanted to share with you a little bit of what I do. I make a point to bubble wrap all my sets as well as try and uh, put some void fill around them and kind of underneath them to keep them away from the sides. So this set will be up in all four corners and have some stuff to allow it not to shift into the sides so that hopefully it makes it there in nice condition. Because if I got something in nice condition, I want it to arrive to the customer that way. So thank you very much, uh, Nicole, for your order. Hopefully uh, you see this and your package arrives in great condition. Thanks again. Got another order in. This order is from Danny in Ohio. So thank you very much to Danny for your order. Uh, this one actually came in two days ago, but it came in through Facebook Marketplace. And so I forgot to pack it yesterday. I did send Danny a message letting her know that it would end up going out today. But uh, Danny ordered a used set, the 3184 Adventure Camper for $23. We need to come over to this fancy wall over here. Which I, where are my used sets? Not in here. Where are the used sets? Are you the used sets? Nope, those are the used incomplete sets. Hmm. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I cleared out the bag. Here they are. So we've got 3184 Adventure Camper. There's the instructions right there. I am going to go ahead and get this all packaged up and sent over to Danny. Danny, thank you very much for your order. I appreciate your patience. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, she said that she was a big camper fan, which is a pretty common theme, and there's actually a lot of really good ones. So I hope this helps complete your collection, Danny. Hey, look at that. We actually got a Facebook Marketplace order that snuck in. I sold the uh, set number 41287 Bubbles Playground Showdown that had some box damage. 
So I need to make sure I know which one this is. I'm gonna look at the listing, but this is sold to, I'm gonna go with uh, Phi, Phi? I probably butchered the name, uh, but we're gonna go with Fee from Oregon. So thank you very much, Fee, for your order. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can't get uh, figured out because I think I have two of these. Look, let's do this journey together. Why not, right? We like going on the tour. Unfortunately, it's right over there, but I can't walk around that way. My uh, my shelf is too full, or my area is too crowded. One of the two, probably more the latter. Okay, so this definitely has some box damage. But I'm pretty sure this one, which you can't see it there, I think I classified the top also as box damage, both of which are sealed. I'm going to take these back over because I want to make sure that I send them the right one just so that we are on the same page in terms of expectations. You can see I just got done recording a episode of eBay, Was It Worth It? But now I need to see which one this is. Let's see if I can see when I click on the link. So here we go. It does not have anything there. So I'm going to go over to this. There we go. There we have it. Some silly string on the top. That would equate to this guy right here. So Fi, thank you very much for your order. I'm going to go ahead and get this one boxed up and ready to go. So I'm in the middle of a mess at the moment. Uh, this place is just turning into a disaster. You've probably already seen a little bit of a store expansion going on down here. I've got packages over here that are in my way. I was in the middle of pulling my buddy Zach's orders. Oh, you can't see the paper. Anyways, pulling my buddy Zach's orders, and I can't get to my bins. So I'm going to have to uh, change things up a little bit. I still smell that little bit of a smoke. So I'm going to go with it may be this box. And while I'm opening that box, I may as well share the haul right next to it. Let's get into it. This place is crazy. Yeah, I think it was the driver. Feels like it was on the outside of both boxes. This thing needs to go. Left my uh, packing knife over there, so I'm gonna be barbaric and just rip into this package. Ooh, I'm gonna bump the table. I'm using every last inch of space that I can right now to put a camera up, to sit down, to be in front of this thing. Doesn't help that my back was recently pretty hurt. But here we go. This is a Walmart order. I got this off of Walmart's website. Check this out. This is $20. Normally this set right here retails for $20. This one $10. I think these ones are about $7 or so a piece, which means there's roughly $50 of value in here. $20. This is a steal. So I ordered the max quantity of those, which happens to be two. What in the world is this? Who does this? Why why in the world does this have Walmart tape going around the entire box? I don't know what's going on with this. I feel like they must have slit this open. Uh, I may have to part this one out. Uh, yeah, there's, there's probably some box damage that they're trying to hide up. This is a little crazy, but we got two of those. You can kind of see a little hint over here. I'm just going to pull them over. We're going through all this stuff right now, right live. I've got a third one. Found this one in store. Again, $20 in store. I have another one here. That puts us at another $20. So I have a total of four of those. And thanks to my mom, she was able to get me. I may have mentioned it before, but I have two more of the Disney castles. I think that takes me to 14 or 16, something like that. Stay on the lookout. I think these are still sold out everywhere except for Disney's website. So if you're looking for these, go to shopdisney.com and you should be able to find them on there. Uh, one more set of packages to go through here, and that is this small bag. Uh, while I was at Walmart, I did happen to find some of these uh, Bruni the Salamander. Little Frozen 2 buildable set, normally $10, found this for $3.34, so I had to get all of those, which was three. And lastly, ended up seeing this uh, Safari set, Safari Off-Roader, set number 60267, Lego City set, normally $20, found this on the shelf for $10. Had to pick that up, 50% off. And that is going to be it for this haul video, I think. 
That's it for the Lego. I can get this stuff out of here. I can get this box out of here. That's the main thing. This thing's got to go. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you very much, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye.